hi um welcome to my um next youtube video um hope everyone's having a great weekend i haven't been able to do any youtube videos because i was away last weekend visiting my cousin and and it's been so dark and yucky this week that i haven't got to do any after work so today just move that out the way, i am going to show you how i made this little um embellished embroidery hoop um totally inspired by trista um i'll link her instagram down below um i she's um done ones like this with the acetate front so i got the idea from her and asked her if she'd mind if i made a video to show some other people how to do it and she was all cool with that so um i'll just take all this these goodies out and just so you can see that it's see-through there um, and you put a little sequin mix in okay so what you'll need for this is an, an embroidery hoop um, I grabbed one all the embroidery hoops I have had I've just picked up over the years from op shops but I had to go and buy one and I didn't check the size of it um, and it's actually a bit bigger than this one so I've had to make a couple of adjustments to make it work but it's all the same theory um, so you need an embroidery hoop I think this one is six and a half inches or oh, seven inches seven inches um, I would go for one a little bit smaller but you can make it any size you want um, yeah sorry my battery just conked out so um what you'll need is an embroidery hoop um i've already gone ahead and done my backing paper here um i just traced a circle on the paper i wanted to use and then cut it out so i mean if you have you could die cut it i guess if you used a smaller one but and i've just put a little bit of this um tombow mono mono multi glue because I'm just wanting to test and um, this is really good glue except for I think it that's straight I just wanted this to be at the top so um, um, if you use that glue and then kind of leave it to dry um, it's really good stick and it's a little bit flatter than um, a hot glue gun. So then the next step is you want to make this pocket for the front. I, um, for my other one, I just used a pocket page, but because this is too big, it's actually too big for the larger size um, pocket page I've got. So this is just um, a thick page protector. And I just eyeballed this by going halfway and um, tracing it like this I mean you could totally I'm all good with this so I did this um, I'm just gonna pause you now I'm gonna sew around here just you know a little bit inside there and I'm just gonna stop about here so I'll go do that and I'll be back Okay, so I sewed inside the um, the line I drew and then cut a bit inside that line because you don't want it to hang over the edge. So if you see this, it just sits just inside. Um, I find sewing this plastic stuff quite hard. You could probably, you could fuse it. I just don't trust my fuser. You could probably just hot glue it. Maybe it might melt the plastic, but um, just find a way to seal the edges. Okay, now I'm just going to make a little sequin mix to go in there, and I thought it would be quite fun to show you making the sequin mix. I might speed it up. Um, I'm just going to pull the colours from this background, so I've already got this little mix of white ones, so I'm just going to pour them in because the background's white and it's just a mix of white that I'd already made.
um, just added some black and white stripy sequins. I don't know where I got them. I had them forever and I seem to hoard them because I love them so much. So that's going to be my little mix for my happy with that. I feel like I just need one more sort of darky, tealy blue. I just got these ones, so I'm going to just put a few of those in, these little ones, and I think that goes really well with the collection. So, what I do next is, I've left this little gap here open, and I'm going to attempt to pour some in. This could be a disaster. So far, so good. And I think that's probably about enough. I don't want too, I don't want it too full because then it won't sit nicely. So I will just sew this up over here while I'm on here. Okay, so this bit, so you've got the, you just need to, find the halfway mark which I think is about here and I just hot glued this on and be really careful because if your glue's really hot which I think mine is can kind of melt the plastic so just, just be aware um, and then just slowly go around I just do a little section at a time going and you sort of have to pull it tight because you don't want it to sag in the middle and I have a feeling I've cut this just a little bit too big but that's okay I should be able to trim that edge off but that's stuck there and you can see like that oh, I hate all these little strings from the glue gun so that is the first part, and um, you can totally just trim, now that it's glued on, and you sewed it, as long as you don't cut it, you can just trim that edge off, trim any little threads, it's a very annoying little scissors, um, and trim the thread. So you've got that bit glued on, just the bottom half, so I mean you don't have to do this with um, acetate you could do it with just paper you could do a shaker pocket with paper and then plastic on the front but I really like how this works and you can still see behind it so next you um you don't have to but I like to cover up this bit here especially down here I just it, I can't make it tidy so I am going to use this um pom-pom trim that I got and I do this bit really slowly and I hope it works on here Okay. I think I went this way. Um, just I do a start at the top because I'm going to cover that top bit up, and um, I do it slowly so I can kind of work it so that this little edge of the trim um, follows the inside edge of there, and it looks quite good. I think you just have to sort of manipulate it around. I'm not seeing my top of my head. Um, okay, so I mean, this bit can be a little bit slow because you know, I just want it to look really neat on the edge. So I'm going to attempt to speed this up. So hopefully this next bit speed it up. Okay, and then you just need to snip it. Oh, I can't find any of my scissors. Um, and then I just attempt to 
tidily fold this bit in and under and stick it in like that something like that so it just attaches and I mean that's not perfect at all but it looks pretty good okay and that's like the main part of the hoop done so just remove all these gross bits um and what I did on my other one which I mean you don't have to do the same thing every time no I can't even find the other one oh, yeah. so I put a little bow on the top here just to cover this bit here up so I'm going to find a little bow that I have left I'm just working with what I've got left of the carousel collection so um I'll see what I've got I don't think I have any chipboard bows but I have got quite a few of these ones so I'm going to I might do this one That's really annoying me but I'll let it go so I just hot glued that other one on like that I think that looks quite cute I did did have some like black and white stripy ribbon because I never got the bows that went with this and you could put a real bow up there which actually would have looked way nicer but too late now we'll just stick with that one and then the fun part of well in my case the very slow part of making a wee embellishment for the front and I really don't have much left of this collection so I'm just trying to work with what I have um, I did make this little shaker window but I won't use that and um, I did a live stream with Danny over at Pop Fizz Paper yesterday and um, we made these little mini shaker rosettes so I'm thinking I might put that on there so I'm gonna try really hard not to overthink this and I'm just gonna stick this down grab another glue so just put the glue here stick that popcorn on there and I'm just trying to attach it to the um, to the frame rather than the um, acetate piece because I really I oh know it just doesn't feel like a good idea it's this glue's really hot and that acetate's not that thick so um, I'm just gonna put that over there I'll just put that no. put that like that and then I think I'm gonna put that, or do I put that over? There? No, I'm just, I always overthink if you've seen me do anything. I think way too much, and it takes me like hours and hours to make stuff. So, which is what kind of put me off having a YouTube channel because I'm like, I never actually get anything done because I take too long. But I just think that's really cute. And then you could just add little extra pops of color. So maybe like. A little yellow heart over there and maybe um, a little blue one down here put a little just to cover up that wee bit there and you can actually do it however you want you can put things all around it if you want I just I'm liking this little bit so then you can still see what's behind it. Um, I put a little piece of, yeah, um, a little piece of this bunting bit on my last one and I'm just gonna try that again with the hot glue, which I hope doesn't cause a disaster, which it very easily could. No, that seems all right. Just cause that kind of just brings it out a little bit. And then you just need to fill it up with goodies. So um, if you'd like to see me stuff it full of things, I'm sure I could make a little video um, to show that. But if I pull a couple of these bits from my other one that I've already made, I just pop them in like this, 
pop you know just pop the things in and maybe put a few thicker things in so that um they stay there you might need to this one's a lot bigger than the other one so maybe you'll need to put a little bit of um crinkly crinkle paper whatever it's called in the bottom and i made like little wands and you can stuff it however you want put whatever goodies in i guess if you do do them a little bit bigger there's plenty of room for more okay thanks um i hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions leave them down below and i will respond thanks for watching see you in my next video bye